Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Unbalanced Breakfast with Kutu Loops. In our last episode, we ended things off after having won a Royal Rumble against one of those things. Um, it took a while, but it was quite, quite epic. Or at least, I thought it was anyways. Um, we're not going to start this off by getting into another Royal Rumble with one of those things. Um, the Thunderjaw, I believe they're called? Or was it Thunder Maw? Thunderjaw. Yeah, um, because it's going to take a while, and I did promise to make some kind of, some semblance of progress today, so. We're going to go for a, uh, quest. Um, now, we could go towards Meridian, but I'm actually fairly close to, um, Lonesome Rock, which is where we need to resolve a daughter's vengeance. We're looking for a lady who has gone off to, um exact vengeance on a Karja general from back during the Red Raids who was particularly vicious or whatever. He claims that it's a case of mistaken identity, um, which is of course a series of movies that Arnold Schwarzenegger was uh, famously in. Um, and by that, I don't mean seriously. I mean... <laughs> uh, was it... Mistaken identity? No, it was, you know, the old uh, Mad TV skit where um, Will Sasso uh, played the role of uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh man, that was hilarious. What was it? Ah, oh, damn, it doesn't matter. But anyways, it's a parody on how uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger is always in like mistaken identity movies, which I guess he kind of was. But anyways, um. So yeah, we're going to go talk to that guy about his role in the Mistaken Identity movies. Actually, no wait. Give me a sec. I believe we have a couple of... Stalkers and Long Legs. Oh no. Oh, no, no, no. Never mind. I thought one of the um, tutorial things were for the, uh, the scavengers. Not the scavengers, but the scrappers. Um, Shadow Hunter Bow. Mm, shock machines to uh, weak to shock damage. Um, stalkers and long legs. Oh, I know what the stalkers are. They're the uh, predator ones. Now the Shadow Hunter I Bow. I uh, might be able to perhaps. Hmm. Actually, I'm not sure if we can uh, shoot plates off these machines. Oh, we did. Wow. Just like that. Hot damn. Oh, oh. damn. Holy <laughs> shit. Ha, nice. That was incredible. Fantastic. So that guy's dead. And his buddy is now coming in hot and heavy. Trying to exact vengeance on his dead friend. Of course, we are just laying it on him. And he's now laying it on us. Shit biscuit. Oh, no. Rodney's involved. Ah, oh, he's dead. There's no way he's gonna survive Rodney's wrath. Shit biscuit. Oh shit, holy crap! Rodney, that was incredible. My god, you just came in with a save. Hot damn, Rodney. Good job, buddy. Good job. I'm actually very glad that you got involved. Normally, I'm not. Um, normally, I find Rodney just, you know, ends up getting his um, butthole torn asunder. But this time, I think Rodney literally saved my life. Okay, before we proceed, let's go ahead and loot these guys. And also see if we can collect some medicinal plants. Every uh, Ever since we got to the area here... Um, hello, why can't I loot you? Hello? Hello, Mr. Watcher? What the hell? What a flagrant lie! Unbelievable! You see that? Fucking... It was there before, and then now it's not. But anyways, ever since we got to this new area, I found that we are always in dire need of medicine. I don't know if it's because it's just higher level and I suck shit. Most likely not the case. Or, um... It's just... Medicinal uh, plants are... More scarce. Which is, I'm thinking... What's happening? But these will keep. I mean, you guys are free uh, free to um to uh, disagree if you'd like. And so wait, this is 
Is this a place? Hmm. Seems like an ordinary outpost. I'd better look around. Yeah, they don't seem to be I'm so bored. Bad I'm people. Bored with being bored. I'm bored with you. Hold Outlander. Oh. What are you doing here? Um, I'm looking for Nakoa. Prefect Zaid told me that bandits abducted a girl near here. Do you know where they might have taken her? Zaid told you that, did he? Huh. No bandits around here, girl. But I think I can help you find your friend. The boss sent us a fresh one, boys. Wrap her up and tie her down. Oh, fuck. Ah, shit. Let's take her down. What the hell? Unbelievable. Alright, that's one bitch dead. That's another bitch dead right in the fucking forehead. And this bitch about to go down now. Alright, let's see what Zaid's hiding out here. Uh huh. So maybe Zaid is indeed the uh, brutal ass bag that um, people think that he is. Hmm. Okay, what's going on here? Supply crate? No, that's not it. Actually, let me quickly um, loot these things. Take all that, all that. Long leg lens, nice. And metal shards, fantastic, I'll take that. Holy crap, I'm like constantly almost full on the resources. Forget about traveling light. Yep, forget about that. What exactly am I looking for? Oh, maybe something in here? This isn't a building? I mean, kind of? Can I break this down? Apparently I can't open doors. Um... I guess maybe Aloy is so primitive that she doesn't know how to uh, open doors and whatnot. Come on, Aloy. It's just, you can bash your head into it. You know, that might actually open it up. What exactly am I looking for? I don't have the quest highlighted and I honestly don't feel like highlighting any. There we go. Uh-huh. Examine. What am I looking for? Not just for? chains. Manacles. They were moving prisoners somewhere. Oh, I see them. Yeah, yeah, right there. Interesting. Follow the card tracks. Will do. Uh, Rodney, let's go together. You seem to be my lucky charm today, so... That being said, I mean, you only rescued me once today, so... I don't know if that really qualifies you as a lucky charm, but... Still. At least, you know, traveling with you is a lot faster. So we walked into a Strider site, fair enough. Um, and we've also discovered a campfire, which we will activate before we bugger off now. Thank you very much. Sorry, Rodney, didn't mean to uh, just jump off you like that. But it's really difficult to uh, stop you once you've, you've um, started gaining momentum and all that stuff. And if we could perhaps collect some medicine as we go, that'd be great too, because I am really, really out of it. Okay. Mm. So where does this lead exactly? Is that medicine? Ah, shit. Damn it, Rodney. The quickest way across is straight across. That's not what I wanted, Rodney. I just wanted you to slow down a little bit. Okay, there we go. And I think there's some more medicine over this way. Thank you. Any over that side? No, I don't think so. Mostly on this side of the road. You know what this setting reminds me of? It actually reminds me a lot of uh, Red Dead Redemption. Um, and I think it's kind of obvious why. Well, it's, you know, kind of like that Arizona, um, Grand Canyon-ish-esque type area. So, it makes sense why it reminds me of that, uh, that game. I'm actually really looking forward to the, um, new one that's coming out, I think, later this year? Is that another campfire? What the hell? The tracks lead to that compound. Maybe Nakoa's inside. Mm hmm. What the hell? Uh, corruption glaze root. And... Oh, I see. Interesting. Okay, well, let's try to stealth our way inside, if at all possible. Because I'm really, really lacking in uh, medicine stuff. I don't know if you guys have noticed, and I don't know if, a guy, if I've told you guys, but um, I'm really sorely lacking in uh, medicinal stuff. So I think we may need to minimize our direct conflict with these guys. Karja Outlander, fair enough. Did that guy's silhouette pass 
in front of this one? Because it looked like he did. Which would imply that this guy is like a fucking giant or some shit. Alright, there's that guy up there, and there's this guy up there. Oh. Don't get ideas. Zaid says hands off or a little price at auction. Uh huh. Sounds like the co is here. And I'm gonna have to cut through these guards to get to her. Mm hmm. Sounds like they're still involved in the uh, slave trade. All right, let me silent strike this bitch. He's dead. That's great. And we can't loot his body, or rather, we already we're full up on uh, health, is what I meant to say. Now, there's one there, the other one, um, we'll try to... Boss told me to hide in my shack when the buyers come. It's because you stink embarrasses them, you bum. Maybe mm. swim in a creek once in a while. Alright, let's try to draw one Show of them nearby. Yourself, I'm hoping that they don't see the dead body in there. But, there's a good chance that they Assassin might... In every patch of grass. What? No? There's no assassin here. You're fooling yourself. No, just ignore the red-headed, uh, beautiful lady that's just hiding in the grasses. Not an assassin whatsoever, please. I assure you. Okay, I can't tell if his body's gonna be visible to this guy or not. Um, this guy patrols over this way. We might be able to take him out another way. Is that a corpse? Oh no, what the fuck? Ah, shit, Biscuit. Alright, let's take him out. Fantastic. Now that guy back there hasn't seen anything. Somehow. Alright, I think he might have noticed something. Let's take him out. Boom! Just like that. Fantastic. So this guy over here, I don't think he's actually noticed anything. I think he's just patrolling as far as I'm aware. So let's just take him out too. Wait, 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 hey, 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 wait, wait, don't, don't go, don't, uh, don't do me like this, bitch. Unbelievable, what a jerk. One of the dredges from the cellar tried to bite me. Yeah, they do that. Yeah, I just bit you too. In your face. With my arrow. And there's this guy up here. I'm gonna take him out. Nice. Just a couple more to go, and we are good. Mm hmm. I wonder if there's a limit to how many desert glass I can carry per stack. I will take this guy out from up far. Boom! Right to the fucking head. Nice. Just one more to go. Yeah. Okay, bitch. Alright, this guy's facing the other way. Perfect. He's dead. Nice. So let me go ahead and loot their bodies. Is someone there? Ah, oh, shit. They noticed me? What? Oh, maybe that's people inside. That must be it, right? Hopefully. Damn it, these guys have a lot of uh, health potions and shit. Uh, if only I wouldn't. If only I had known. I wouldn't have uh, crafted the health potions and whatever. Wasted them all my precious resources. All my fatty meats. Ah, That's okay. Well, that's one thing to keep in mind. Um, human enemies tend to carry a lot of uh, health potions and whatnot. So, probably best to um, preserve your resources and not craft them yourself. Because you'll inevitably end up um, looting them off your enemies and all that crap. Though I guess in a pinch, if you really, really need it, then, you know, go ahead and do it, but... Can I actually jump down this thing, or is Aloy gonna be... Yeah, I don't think she's capable of that for whatever reason. Kinda sucks, I was kinda hoping for like an Assassin's Creed type thing, where she just like, you know, somehow magically attach herself to that rope and then go fling herself and then um, uppercut that guy's uh, testicles into the stratosphere. Um, which, of course, then, um, uh, go into orbit, steady orbit around the Earth, and then start gathering, um, space dust, and then become, um, heavenly bodies of their own. Which would, of course, be, uh, produced into a, um, major feature film. Hello, people. What do you guys think about my, um, testicle planet thing? Right? Can I free you? Talk to Nokoa. She'll know what to do. I mean, I could just free you, no? 
Help us get out of here. Do I need to talk to Nikoa in order to know how to free you guys? Nikoa? Jan sent me. Look, we can talk more once we get everyone out of this pit. Jan sent you? I don't believe it. Well, I guess one of his prayers finally worked. I've got the key. I'll help the others. Let's go. What's with your hair? It's like a face hugger on the back of her head. Good grief. Alright, hey guys. Talk to Nokoa. She'll know what to do. Um, yeah, I just did. Do I really need to wait for Nokoa to uh free you guys? Escape the compound. I mean I killed everyone. Do I really need to um Well I guess we are technically still in need of escaping the compound. Fair enough. Alright, let's get out of here, guys. I still have to complete this uh, tutorial to shoot plates from machines. So, um, don't get in my way, alright? If I see a machine, I'm gonna shoot the plates off it. I knew you were going to be trouble, girl. But you'll make it worth our while in the end. The end is now, Zaid. For you and your men. Well, I'm glad we get to finish this off with a royal rumble with this rat bastard. Cannot stand these rat motherfuckers. Whoa, shit, bitch! Fuck, he's got one of those big uh, machine or guns. Hot damn. Alright, why aren't the other prisoners doing anything? I'm doing all the fucking work here. What the hell is that? Bitch. Fan- what? Did I just... magically stab a dead body? Now, I'm assuming I can't actually, um, stealth strike uh, Zaid, right? That's right, you dumb bitch. Get up! Get up, you rat bastard! Or maybe you have to finish him off. Alright, we're gonna Get finish him off. This. Oh no, I think we have to kill his uh, buddy first. Alright, bud. Here. Uh, Aloy, why are you vibrating like that? It's really disconcerting. Please don't. Please stop it. You gave him a quicker death than he deserved? My father was a hunter. He taught me every animal deserves a clean kill. Ha, <laughs> nice. How did Zaid come to run a ring of slavers? All the scum you just killed? They butchered for Zaid during the Red Raids. The new Sun King kicked them out of the army, but Zaid managed to lie his way out of trouble, then saw a new way to make a shard, putting his grunts to work here. Hmm. How did Zaid capture you? I tried to get him at Day Tower, but he caught me, then let me go so he could have his men grab me later. And... after? Said he was gonna sell me into slavery like the other poor bastards that came through here week to week. But he took his time and kicked me around whenever he stopped by. Guess me trying to kill him hurt his pride. Dumbass. Not her. Him. You've been through a lot. I'm fine. Are you sure? Zaid's dead. I was ready to go through anything to make that happen. And I did. Well, I mean, it was mostly me, but you know. What are you gonna do now? The others were in that cellar for months. The more run down they got, the harder it was for Zaid to sell them. They need food, rest, and hope. I'll take them to Meridian and tend to them. Wouldn't you want to... oh. You're not even going to try to go back? What about Jan? The Matriarchs won't let me back. Even if they would, I wouldn't go. They can burn for all I care. As for Jan, I know a way to get word to him. I'll miss that runt. But at least he'll know I'm safe. Alright, cool. Time for me to go. Look, I don't even know your story. It must be a good one if they gave you the mark of a seeker. If you ever feel like telling it, look me up in Meridian. I'll be there until the others get back up on their feet. Until then, thank you for helping me cut this rot from the world. I don't know. Maybe now I can put Zaid behind me and remember my father as I should. 
I mean, you could start by getting a haircut. I'm not gonna lie, that weird... No room. Fucking, um... What was it? That weird face hugger hairstyle is really kind of off-putting. I don't know, maybe I'm in the, um... Maybe I'm in the minority here, but... Eh, what do I know? Okay, so let me finish, uh, looting these dead bodies first. And I think we're full up on resources yet again. So that's nice. Mm, anything else to loot? I think there was a couple more guards. Yeah, there's this guy over here that I know of. And he's got health potions. Fantastic. Alright, this guy too. Desert glass, nice. Still not sure what I can trade it for. Um, I know I can sell it or trade it, but um, so far I haven't really seen what I can trade it for, so that kind of sucks. Alright, let me take the I'll Fire take Striker. Um, which really just weighs me down a lot, and unfortunately I can't even mount Rodney with this thing, I don't think. Speaking of which, Rodney? Where you at, boy? a boy, Rodney. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, what? Oh, no. Ah, oh, damn it. I thought for a second there. Ah. Oh, I was so hopeful. It looked like she was getting on top of Rodney with the, um, heavy weapon, but no. It was a lie. It was a straight lie. You lying guys. Alright, let's go to uh, Meridian. And I guess, you know what? Let's try to do the other, uh, Karja Sling quest. So, we're going to need to equip our, um, whatchamacallit, Karja Sling. Oh, is it already equipped? Hello? Oh, there you go. Okay, yeah, it is. Uh, so we're gonna need to use shock bombs on long legs. What do sh long legs have to do with shock bombs, exactly? And also, where am I headed? Oh, right, okay. Um... No, we need to go the other way. Oops, my bad. Alright, let me just annihilate this fox as we get there. Fantastic. Let me... This there we go. Last. Nice. Some fatty meat, of which we have very little, and some fox bone. Which we have now two of. I guess once I upgrade all of my, um... Uh... Carry packs and whatever, I don't actually need to... Wait, am I going north? No, I'm not supposed to go north? What the hell? I don't understand. It kinda looked like I was going the wrong way the first time around, but turns out I was actually going the right way? Okay, am I going the right way now? Okay, good. I am. I just need to make a right at the campfire and then head down s Wait. No, I can just keep going south. And then eventually I'll- okay, never mind. I, I got the directions. I got the gist of it. I just want, didn't want to um, uh, select my quest away from the Karja Sling one, because I know I'll forget to set that back, which I'm sure will probably fuck things up. Okay, we're going to ignore that one. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. All right. I got this now. I got this. Until I don't got this, which will happen very soon, believe you me. Okay, uh, so we get past here, and I think... Whenever we see a path that we can cross via what? There you go, long legs. Perfect. That's exactly what I needed. That's great. That's right there. Just hold your horses. Take it easy, lad. All right. Let me go shock that uh, long leg. The car just sling. Eat shit. At a boy. Fantastic. And those things are weak to shock bombs, I guess. <laughs> Whilst these guys are busy attacking the long leg, I'm just gonna go uh, loot these things. And we've killed it. That's great. Yep, you're welcome. You are definitely welcome. Well, I mean, I don't know about that. I do appreciate it a good, a good um, Zunus campaign, but... Uh, I'm not really a Zunist right now. Um, I'm more of a... Uh, I don't even know what I would qualify myself as if I were playing as a uh, CK2 religion. The Nora, they're matriarchal. Mm, and they revere 
The Mother Mountain. I don't know. I really have no idea. I guess closest would be maybe West African? Ish? Except the whole matriarchal part? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Who gives a rat's ass? Okay, um, if I could find another long leg, that would be great. Because I really do need to kill another long leg, guys. Alright, since we're close to this outpost, we might as well... Oh, Shell Walker. Oh, there we go, another long leg. Fantastic. Hey, long leg, don't go nowhere. Here, let me attack you. Merry Christmas, kid. There you go. Fantastic. I'm gonna use this guy. Your wife is on the line? Maybe don't take phone calls in the middle of a uh, Royal Rumble here, guys. Just saying. You know? Don't get me wrong. I like to take phone calls from uh, ladies, too. But uh, not in the middle of combat. Just saying. Whoa, Rodney just killed that Shell Walker. Holy crap. Oh, no. Rodney didn't kill him. Rodney just kind of incapacitated it. And the other one is dead. Fantastic. Okay, that was a mistake. Turns out that those things are capable of doing that. And I had no idea, but now he's dead. So, who gets the experience points? I don't think... Oh man, are you serious? Those fuckers stole my kill. I didn't get any experience points for killing those things. Unbelievable. Wow. You kill-stealing scum. Just the absolute worst. I hope you guys die a horrible, horrible death. That might have been a little harsh, but... You know. Still, they should definitely still die a horrible, horrible death. Even if I was a little harsh. Okay, so we could go this way towards Meridian. What the fuck is that? Is that the Thunderdome? Holy crap. Okay, so we finished the... Karja Sling quest, which... Was a little easier than I expected. But that's a good thing. And now we're just going to head towards Meridian. But of course, we're going to... Ooh, a side quest, eh? Interesting. Well, I'll be taking that. Thank you very much. Rodney? Wait up, all right? Let me go talk oh, to this chump. Nice. Glad I stopped for a bit. What the fuck did you just say? This are you checking out my started. Rodney? Who do you think you are? Person with no facial features? Oh, you have no personality either. Okay, that's great. Um, let me actually quickly sell all this stuff that we don't need because it is just burning a hole in my pocket here. Gotta get rid of this stuff, otherwise we're going to be full up on uh, crap that we really should not be caring too much of. Um, scrapper lens, we already have 10 of, which is a fair bit. I'm thinking maybe we'll just sell one stack. Scrappers are fairly easy to uh, kill anyway, so... It's all good. Strider Lens, we have a lot of this stuff too. And Watcher Lens, we have 50 million of. Um, so let's sell all that. Mm. Do we want to sell this many though? Yeah, I guess. I don't know what else I would use the, um, the lenses for. Alright, we'll sell all that crap. And I think that's good for now. Okay. That's made a little bit more space. Not a ton, but a little bit more nonetheless. And I think we are now safe to sell the Karja Sling. Okay. Or the regular Sling, not the Karja Sling, rather. Can I buy something from you that will be worth my time? Um, Karja Rope Caster, I guess. To replace the regular Rope Caster that we have. Oh no, we can actually buy a Shadow Rope Caster. Oh wow, nice. Very nice. Oh wow, holy crap, holy. Wait, Shadow Sling... Oh, that's for elemental stuff. Shadow Blast Sling is just for pure damage. Holy crap. Shadow Rattler. Um, that's basically a shotgun. Shadow Warbo, wow, wow, wee wa. Wait, is that like a regular Warbo? Oh, there's a Karja Warbo that we can upgrade into. Oh, that's where we sell the uh, glass stuff. 
Mm hmm. Though I wonder if if I get the the best rattler, for example, do I then get the quests for the or the um, tutorial quest for the lower stuff too, or no? I get the feeling that I don't, which means that we should probably buy this other stuff first and then ramp our way up, possibly. Okay, so I'm assuming there's going to be a quest for the Rattler, uh, for the Blast Sling, and then we'll have to uh, work our way up to the uh, Robe Caster, the um, Karja Rattler, Karja Warbo, Karja Blast Sling, and then all this other stuff. Oh man, that's a lot of stuff to um to buy and whatnot. But hopefully it'll be worth it. I forget what I what do I actually get for completing the tutorial quests? Do I get anything at all? Or no? The Nora Silent Heavy Hunter. A uh, Hunter Heavy. Hmm. It is quite tempting. Silks Heavy. Offers little protection, but it's highly customizable. Oh, it just has one of the um one more extra Modification slot. Interesting. Hmm. That could be worth looking into. But I'm not so sure, actually. Okay, um... Let's actually end the episode off here for now. In between episodes, I will... Probably... Buy us... Um... Some of this stuff, and then we'll, uh... Try to, I guess, work our way up. And all that stuff, um... Yeah, that might be a good idea, and then we'll pick up the side quest and all that. And then we'll finally make our way over to a Meridian, I promise. Or, I'll try to, anyways. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching, and have a good breakfast!